it guys and welcome back. I got a pretty cool deck for you guys today. Sort of like Freddy Babe's deck, but this one relies more on copying the harpies. It's actually pretty fun and pretty cool what you can do. As long as you don't draw too many of them. But we'll get right into the deck profile. Really liking this deck. We got three harpies. One of the main things of the deck. While this unit is in your deck, decrease the counter whenever you play a beast ally. When the counter reaches zero, you play it from your deck and it does one damage. So it's basically a four power card, but it also counts as a beast, so it's going to bring your next counter down to two automatically. And as far as beasts go, we got three Selena Harpies, which they also have these eggs that are going to spawn a Harpy Hatchling, which are a beast. Then we got Roach, he's a beast. We got Arc Griffin, he's a beast. We got Roachster, who spawns three beasts. Yennefer, who spawns a beast. <laughs> and then we got Renew. To bring back your best bet is the Woodland Spirit user. Bring back the Woodland Spirit if you spawn three beasts again and get you out maybe one or two of these. So basically, in your starting hand, you want either Selena Harpies, your Woodland Spirit, or Royal Decree, and some Necker Warriors to create more of these Harpies in your deck. Then you just start spamming out Harpies like crazy. But we got the Foglet next. Like most Fog decks, we're only running one because when you apply fog on the opposing row, it's going to come out of your deck. And if it's dead or in your graveyard, it's going to come out when you apply fog anyway. So you really only need one. Then we got three Selena Harpies spawn two Harpy eggs on the left of this unit. We don't really have a way to eat them besides Ekimara. But that's okay because Ekimara will get plenty of value out of it. And we're using the Harpy eggs more for the Harpy Hatchlings. And the fact that it's a beast to bring these guys out, which is going to make it a pretty powerful play. Pretty like the old Harpy, pretty much. Then we got two Ekimaras for carryover. They're going to be a six power carryover. And they also consume an ally, so you consume one of these eggs. They'll boost themselves by an additional four, making them an 11 with six power resilience. So they're pretty good in this deck. We got three Necker Warriors. Necker Warrior decks are like the most fun decks. You can do like the most creative things with them. But you choose a bronze ally, create two base copies of it at the bottom of your deck. You want to be copying these harpies. Because you're going to be spawning them out like crazy with all the beasts we got. Then we got Arc Griffin to clear weather from a row on your side. And you also get to move a bronze card from one graveyard to the other. This guy is pretty good for weather clear. I mean, you can always steal a bronze. Like if they steal your foglet, you can steal it back. Or if you're facing a mirror match, sort of mirror match where they're running fog at least, you can steal their foglet and stop them from resurrecting it. It hinders them a lot. Then we got Roach. Whenever you play a gold card from your hand, does not include leaders. Play Roach from your deck on a random row before that card resolves. He's a beast. And the Woodland Spirit, if you play the Woodland Spirit and you bring Roach out, you get a huge tempo swing, especially if it's with Royal Decree. Like you play Royal Decree, he's going to bring out Woodland Spirit, who's going to be a 7 power. He's going to then spawn three rabbit wolves, which are all beasts. And that's going to bring out a harpy. Bring your next harpy. Actually, two harpies, because he's going to bring out roach too. So he's going to bring out two harpies with him. Then he's going to also apply fog that's going to do two damage no matter what. So that adds up to seven. Sorry, I had to do some math, maths quick. But it's actually going to be a 24 power play. And... If it's not with the Royal Decree, it's going to be a 22 power play, but it's also going to bring your next Harpy counter down to 2 or 1, so you only need to play one more beast to bring out another Harpy. Like, the tempo you get from this Woodland Spear is just crazy sometimes, and it swarms your field, so it makes it even better for our next card, which is Yennefer. Spawn a Unicorn or Chronix. Usually want to spawn a Unicorn with her when you have a lot more creatures on your field than your opponent, which is not too hard with this deck. I mean, we got... Selena Harpies that are spawning out three creatures. We got the Ifrit, which is going to be a four creatures play. And of course, the Woodland Spirit, who's just going to bring out a crap ton of creatures. So, Yennefer, try to play her when you have a lot more creatures than your opponent, and you'll get a lot of value out of her. Then we got Abaya, spawn Torrential Rain, Clear Skies, or Arrakis Venom. Clear Skies, pretty good. It's a weather clear unit, another weather clear. And Arrakis Venom is actually really good too. Because it makes her a 15 power silver if you hit three adjacent units. Torrential Rain, not so good. 
I never really use it. I mean, you'd have to wait so many turns for a Torrential Rain to add up as, to as much value as an Arrakis Venom is going to give you. And then they could always clear it, and then you really lose out on value. Then we got Ifrit, spawn three lesser fire elementals. They're all one powers, but they all do one damage each, and they swarm your field more. So it's 13 power silver, but it also gives you four creatures on the board. Then we got Lacerate. Damage all units on a row by three. You, It's not hard to find a good Lacerate value. I mean, most rounds go, round ones go out pretty long. So you're usually getting like at least nine with three creatures, and that's on the low end. Like, you can get up to 20 value around there with a last rate if you play it right. Then we got Full Moon Potion. Boost up to six random allies by two. It's a 12 power bronze, basically, because it's not that hard to get six creatures out on your side of the field with this deck. Along with Commander's Horn, boost five adjacent units by four. Basically a 20 power silver in this deck because, again, not that hard to get five adjacent units out. Then we got a Scorch, destroy all the highest units. Most decks are going to be running units with higher value than yours, so Scorch is going to be a really good card. Especially if they have a bunch of Sages out or those spell units that get boosted up every time they play a spell. I mean, most of your creatures are really low. Like, before you boost them, the highest thing you got is an Arc Griffin for 8. And most of them are 1 power, so Scorch, really good card in this deck. Then we got Renew, Resurrect a Gold Unit. You want to resurrect your Woodland Spirit with this. I mean, if you can't and you have to resurrect your Yennefer, you can still get pretty good value out of it. Then we got Royal Decree, which is here to guarantee your Woodland Spirit easier, because you want that. That's such a huge tempo play in this deck, as I've said. And it also boosts it by two. Then we got the Frightener, which if you're playing a Gwent deck, you're running your Disloyal Unit, that's the way it goes or else you're going to lose out on card advantage. So the Frightener, he's not too bad. He is 12 power, but you move a unit on another row to this side on this row and draw the top card from your deck. It's pretty good because he lets you move something around, which sets you up better for your last rate. But that's about it for the deck profile. We'll get into a couple games now, show you how fun this deck can be and how much you can swarm the field with Harveys. It's actually pretty crazy. We'll get right into it, and I'll see you guys there. Yeah, right, here we go, game one. Looks like another Dagon. Wonder what version he's running. There's so many monster decks. It's ridiculous. Um, well, we don't want Roach. Woodland Spirit, nice. And Renew. And Yennefer. Scorch. Last raid will be helpful. Scorch, maybe not so much. I actually throw a Scorch back. And now that we got Royal Decree, I'm going to throw Woodland Spirit back. Because we can just Royal Decree out our Woodland Spirit. I'm going to start out with a Harpy. Well, no matter what, we should definitely win this round one. <laughs> Don't really have Necker Warrior or anything to copy. Our Beast, though. What's he going with? He's not even hovering over his cards, that's weird. Must be on PC. Oh, he's just gonna pass? Okay. I mean... I don't understand that at all. Okay, that's gonna bring out a Harpy. And we're gonna draw a Commander's Horn, too. Cool. Well, we'll keep this. I mean, now, play this however I want. We'll just go with our just a little unit to start. And we'll get a Harpy, nice. This will give us a card advantage right back. Looks like you want an extended round three. I'm not gonna let that happen. You probably play Selenal Harpy. I don't know. I'll yeah, Royal Decree, because I put that out there right away, so I mean I could just Royal Decree out my Woodland Spirit. 
All right, let's see how these bounces work. Boom. We're going to sound another harpy. Going to pop that. Going to bring this out. Going to bring him out a harpy. <laughs> Just going to kill a wolf. Okay. Well, oh cool, we got a weather clear, so once he drops that, we'll just weather clear it. He's debating on which row to put it on, must be. Yeah, the back row, okay. This is going to bring him out of Foglet. And we're just going to clear that. We'll move... Impenetrable fog into our graveyard, why not? <laughs> All our harpies are gone. He didn't get a necker warrior. I'm gonna try to play out this harpy and this ifrit and hope that I end up like really high ahead of him and monsters and then play my Yennefer. What do you got? Oh, a Varan Warrior. Good thing we didn't let him eat those eggs. Well, he's going to start decreasing the amount of monsters he has with that, so that's going to work out really well for Yennefer in a second. I mean, if our if it hits with that one power, that'll be even better. It looks like he's going to consume a six... Oh, he's going to consume our egg. All right. It's not going to hurt our monsters at all. At least the number we have out. Yes, good. It killed that. Cool. Now his Varan Warrior will eat one more guy. He'll only have six creatures out. Oh, unless he resurrects our Selena Harvey. That's sad, Ning. We still get a huge Yennefer here. And we'll drop the unicorn. Putting us pretty far ahead. Then we'll just Ekimara this egg. Well, I want to play Commander's Horn and Full Moon Potion because, I mean, we're not going to really have a chance to play. I'm probably going to lacerate those eggs away before he gets to eat those. No one I'm getting huge value out of those eggs. Let's go with a buyer. Rack is fun. I'm probably gonna pop our egg. I mean if he doesn't, that'll be great because we can Akimara it. No oh, no, he went with the back row, okay. We're gonna play Akimara on the back row, eat this egg. I should probably get that fog out there, I guess. Okay, there's his necker, so we definitely want to win this round. Play out that fog on that middle row. Oh, clear skies, alright. Well, we'll commander's horn now. On our middle row. Give us 20 more power. Then we'll full moon potion and pass. Oh, no, there's a forfeit. Never mind. We didn't even need to. Two and owed him. So that was a really good one. And that's game one, guys. We'll get in the next game now. Didn't really get to show you the harpy thing, though. That sucks. Maybe the next game. Hey, right, here we go. Game two. Bro for Hoog. It's probably the one with Mahakam Marauder. Can oh, we got a Scorch. Maybe not such a problem, though. Woodland Spirit 2 with Renew. Gonna throw back the Harpy. Got a Selena Harpy. Got our Necker Warriors. 
Lacerate might not be so good. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna throw back the last rate because he could if he's running my or come defenders, don't want that. And the woodland spirit now that we got royal decree. Alright, this hand's hand's looking pretty pretty good. Start right out with Brover Hood. Not to make a dwarf today, Take sport. Oh wait a minute, why? What? Any silver unit or a bronze dwarf, all right. Well, why did he play his Baran out? That's confusing. Since we're gonna, we got the renew, we're just gonna Royal Decree out our Woodland Spirit on this back row. Get a huge swing here. I'll get it done. Counters down to one. Oh, this is going to return Roach to our hand? Cool, we'll be able to mulligan him next round. I'm going to play a, this Harpy out just that way. This sets my counter down to zero because if I copy the Harpies, they're going to go back to zero on their counter anyway. I found out with the Necker Warrior. Okay, well, he's taking a while. Do you need to pull out? Oh, well, he passed, so we're going to pass. Well, she must know when I'm recording, because she always wants to go out right when I start this up. All right. Well, we don't need a roach, so we'll throw him back. Might be able to 2-0 this guy. Because we got a lot of strong stuff, and we're going to be able to pull off a huge Jennifer here. We're going to start copying these Harpies into our deck. I mean, we have Renew. That's going to bring out a Roach, too. Alright, so he's going to start boosting stuff in his hand. We're going to make some more of these in our deck. Then we're just going to renew. Like, how much swarming will we get? Not sure. My counter is at zero. So this is going to bring it back to one. We're going to be able to pull out two harpies. All right, Woodland Spirit. Play him. Get out a harpy. Apply that fog. Get out a foglet. Well, there we go. We'll lucky Mara that bomb, actually. <laughs> that gives us something to eat. There we go. No, we do not want to take damage from that. We can eat one more bomb before it becomes a problem. Our counter is at once one, so once we play this Art Griffin, we're gonna get out another harpy. Is he going with clear skies? Alright. He's going with clear skies, that's fine. Not gonna do much to us right now. Play out our Dagon and get out another fog. Bring that foglet back. are so far ahead and our Yennefer is just gonna make us insanely far ahead after we play our effort I'm hoping he doesn't surrender oh, he's gonna decoy that so that must be his only one well we'll eat that bomb again nope none of those Please don't surrender before we pull off the combo. I just need to play my Ifrit and my Arc Griffin. Oh, 
Oh man, he has to think about me thinking about surrendering because we're so far ahead. Oh, that was a mighty scorch though. Okay, well we're gonna effort. it. Get our tempo right back. Okay, there's the clear skies again. And then we'll arc griffin. Actually, I'll buy a I'm gonna spawn in Arrakis Venom. Stop him from boosting his cards. He's down to zero power. He is. <laughs> oh god. Well, there's the brand. We're gonna. We're gonna scorch that. He still has zero power. This is crazy. Right, he's gonna be able to move something with that. We're gonna play out the Arc Griffin and then our Yennefer. Whatever, it doesn't matter what we move. We'll move your bomb thrower to our graveyard. Why not? Please, no last rate. Oh, it's just a little unit. Okay. Wait, that could still be a last rate then. Nope, looks like he went with a unit. Oh, man. No, 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 no. No. No, we were just dropping the Yennefer. That was the tur- Why did you have to surrender right then? Man. Well, we too know that guy. <laughs> Get into the next one. Oh, that was sad. Okay. Alright, game three. John Calvet probably spies. We should do pretty good against spies if we get the right stuff. Um, Like a woodland spirit. <laughs> woodland spirit, please. Now I don't know what to throw back to try to get one, though. Oof. I guess a full moon potion. Ooh, two Akimaras. These are tough choices here. What are we facing? Spies, so maybe the last rate. Yes! We got our woodland spirit. This hand's looking pretty good. Like, I didn't even want to throw back that last rate, really. But against spies, it's not the most useful. Um... Okay. Guess he's taking a bit to make his first turn play. I mean, we dropped this one in the spirit. He might just pass after that. It's usually what happens. Boom, boom, boom. Please wait, your okay, he's starting right out with this little unit. Into a brigade. Well... We'll go by playing a Harpy, then our Woodland Spirit, because that's going to set our counter down to zero so we can Necker Warrior or Harpies. Shame I have no time. Okay, here comes another one, shame and I another no one. Time. Glad to see those get out of there before he played those. Hey, oh. Hey. Never mind. So I was going to say he won't get as much tempo from those, but looks like he is. We're going to play the Woodland Spirit. This is going to bring out all of our harpies. Sadly. He's probably going to pass here. Okay, good, you're not. No Ooh, I was going to say, I don't want you passing because I want to Necker Warrior these. Cynthia? Oh, we have our Disloyal in our hand too. Oh, man. Okay, well, we're going to Necker Warrior out. Our Harpies. At least it didn't reveal our Yennefer. Kind of hoping he commits more to this round one. Which it looks like he is good, because we have a Yennefer. We're going to be able to pull off a pretty big Yennefer here if I get to play my Harpy, my Ifrit.
Hmm. Infiltrator. He's getting a decent amount of egg out of that card now. He killed off our Roach. We work on killing off our Woodland Spirit. We're going to play the Harpy. If he passes here, we'll just eat an egg. Okay, there's another one of those. We're going to need an egg for carryover. We can win this at any moment with our Yennefer. No doors. Oh, there's another infiltrator. Probably has a meno. That's gonna bring out our harpy. Then we'll live for it. Then we're gonna Yennefer. Okay, he's going to do 7 damage to that, get a decent amount of tempo out of that. So we're going to Yennefer. Play out that Unicorn. And this is going to catch us right back up. Oh, he gets to pull off another one. I think I'm going to eat my... Ekimara. Before he eats, destroys that with Menno. Because that's probably his plan. No door is oh, there's an infiltrator. Oof. Wow, he's going to beat our tempo. But he did use up a lot. We'll probably just throw over our disloyal unit and pass. Depending on what we draw into. I'm going to drag his Cynthia up here. Ooh, Scorch. Nice. Okay, now we won't pass. And if he passes, we can just Scorch and win. Yep, there's the pass. Nice. Well, we'll Scorch and take round one. Just barely. <laughs> but we got the carryover and stuff. So... We could just dry pass him. Don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. We'll see what we draw into. Maybe we'll see a renew. And a royal decree. Well, royal decree's dead card, so we'll throw that back. Hmm. Yeah, we'll pass. Because I have a full moon potion and everything I have is reactive. I He's actually going to drop his leader. Wow. Things should look really good for us for the last round. Mm. You going to revive out a harpy? Or an Akimara. He might revive out an Akimara. Yeah, for the carryover. There we go. That shouldn't be enough to save him, though. Considering that he's a card down. He basically got to play a six power card then. Last rate, no. Throw that back. Arc Griffin, alright. That'll work out. He goes first. We need to start right out with a renew. Oh, <laughs> it's this little unit. So he's going to catch up back up in cards of Atias. So, not too bad. I mean, we'll renew. Grab out our Woodland Spirit. Of course, he has Meadow, most likely. So he's not going to lose much value from that. No? Well, we're going to Dagon, too. On that middle row. Play out that fog. 
He's not going to be able to deal with this weather. Oh, well, he meant clear skies. He is going to be able to deal with it. <laughs> and get rid of our fog wit. Well, we're going to arc griffin. Well, we don't want to move anything that he can revive. We'll just remove Emissary back into his graveyard. So we, of course, if he has Medic, he's going to be able to do it anyway. All right, there's the meadow. Now a full moon potion. Because I didn't want the full moon potion to hit that meno that uh, Dissolo unit and then have a meno it. Well in and... What? What is this? Sultan Animal Trainer. <laughs> We're going to wreck his venom take the win. Wow. Not seen anybody run that. Do it right here. That animal trainer almost messed up our Abaya. <laughs> okay. Well, that went pretty well. You got to see the combo twice. So that's why this deck is so fun. Like, those... Spawning out those harpies like that, just crazy. And then the Yennefer, you get to pull off such big Yennefer plays against most decks. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed the deck if you actually try it. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.